guys, it's Byzantine. I hope you can hear me better than yesterday. Uh, somebody commented in a video um, that I should speak more, I mean louder. I couldn't do this because my housemates were sleeping and I mean one of my housemates that was sleeping next door was sleeping. Oh my gosh. Battery butter, <laughs> as we say in Polish. Uh, I'm sitting in a different room downstairs. My housemates are sleeping because they were having a party last night because they decided even we're during the quarantine, uh, they want to party. I'm not a very party animal. I'm not in a mood recently. I don't know why I try to take care of the hygiene of my day which is uh, trying to rest relax eat a lot and yeah i didn't feel like partying at all so i'm a party bummer uh, or i i am not boosting anybody's mood uh, yeah i'm wearing the same thing as yesterday i didn't wash my hair at all and uh, how are you guys doing uh, this is another video of the series of the chats of the vlogs when I'm talking a little bit about my channel about the current situation uh, I'm gonna uh, give you like an update what I received um, yesterday uh, from people from work and uh, for those who don't know I work at Sarah and yesterday the government closed the schools um, in Great Britain finally because uh, Great Britain is a little bit late to the bandwagon of quarantine I must admit things uh, I'm from Poland the things work better in Poland uh, in <laughs> at least this time and uh, the schools, the public uh, places like bars, restaurants, cinemas, theaters, they're all closed uh, for now. And I received a message that my workplace, which is Sara, uh, is closed as well. I don't know if it's closed right now. Uh, because I only know that it's going to be closed next week when I was supposed to come back from my holidays that were planned way ahead. And um, yeah, we'll see. Uh, but today um, I didn't want to talk about that. I wanted to talk about uh, the name Byzantine because I should address it uh, from the very beginning when I started this channel almost a year ago on the 10th of April there's gonna be an anniversary of posting the first video um, so why Byzantine in previous uh, video uh, if you didn't watch it I'll link it in the down bar be below I said that when I was thinking about the name uh, when my background is fashion I'm a fashion designer um, um, I was thinking about the name that sounds a little bit maybe familiar yet um, kind of fashion connected and I really like the idea of the brand's name being almost like the real person's name so I told you that um, there's a Chloe and Celine and they have a friend Byzantine uh, they, I know it's like this uh, oh my god maybe cheap tacky uh, rhyme but it kind of makes sense like it feels like Byzantine feels like like a person like me I uh, can be Byzantine and why Byzantine to me you know the Byzantium feels so close yet so far you know it's just a part of the European history yet it happened so far away and uh, there's this saying that I really like that things are too close to be dreamt of and the same is with Byzantium the Byzantine Empire which is like this land that feels a part of the history but it's so far that it feels so interesting so uh, mysterious plus uh, me personally uh, as my background I was brought up in a Christian religion and uh, Byzantium was like this place of the religion uh, that cultivated the Christianity and I, I don't want to dig into Christianity 
uh, too much because you know the times showed that it wasn't that you know clean nice and pretty I don't want to talk about it but this is just a part of me plus uh, Byzantium was the Eastern Empire with the capital city uh, Constantinople which is like in the modern-day Istanbul and um, you know to me this is the eastern country the oriental country the country that uh, aesthetics were influenced by the neighbors including middle east eastern culture um, and i realized through the years that as a person i couldn't name it before but I am fascinated by the Orient, by the Oriental aesthetic that, you know, it's very visible in um, even Polish folklore. Like many Eastern countries have the similarity uh, of the aesthetics of the Eastern uh, and Orient, even Oriental motifs. And I was always fascinated by the East and um, probably my love with East started when I was little, like literally four years old and watching Sailor Moon, which is far east, it's Japan, but, and it's way different, but yeah, um, so like three things, uh, I guess, consisted on why Byzantine, uh, the history of Europe, my upbringing and my fascination for Orient, plus this thing that Byzantine sounds like Justine, sounds like Clo Celine, uh, yeah, and it se seems like name, and I, it kind of feels right when I say, hi, I'm Byzantine, and I don't feel anything weird about it, and uh, once I changed my name on Instagram, to Byzantine, uh, many good things happened to me, many people gravitated towards me and uh, it was to me like a good sign that Byzantine is the name and uh, yeah, that's how the Byzantine was born. Uh, I hope that um, now you know, now uh, I don't know if you need this information but I hope it's interesting to you. This is at least what I can do. I should start with that, oh my gosh, a year ago, I should really start with that, but some of the informations, you know, you save for the bigger audience, so as our little community grows, like, uh, I got another subscriber, so there's 118 of us right now here on the channel, thank you so much for subscribing, for watching, and uh, some information you leave for the bigger audience so uh, we could start a conversation so uh, please comment down below if there's anything you would like to talk I'm here for you to talk about if, um, if I know what to say about each topic I will respond to that thank you so much for your comments for your uh, wishes uh, like one you uh, one year anniversary of the channel wishes and uh, yeah, see you next time I think tomorrow I have a plan of making videos like every day so kisses without touching my face and see you next time bye bye guys